Hey there Mark fans and welcome to an episode of Mark's Model Moments. I'm Heroic Dale and the guest reviewer for this video. On my channel I do movie reviews, unboxing videos, fashion reviews, heroic trips, things like that. A link to my channel will be found in the box below. Today we are reviewing model number 75827 and that is the Lego Ghostbusters Firehouse Headquarters. This set has 4,634 pieces, 12 minifigures and costs £274.99 in the UK. If you would like to see the build then click on the link in the bottom right. Alternatively, stay on this video for a full review. And here it is, the completed model of the Ghostbusters Firehouse Headquarters. And I must say, it looks pretty spectacular. Um, you've got these three ghosts which stick on the outside and they, they're pretty good. You've got Slimer here. Um, this pink ghost, I'm not sure if they're actually in the film. I probably are at some point, but I can't remember to be honest. Um, on the top, that's the uh, the librarian ghost from the, the start of the film. But if you turn it around here, this is uh, for Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2. And um, I really like this little little feature with the uh, the pink slime from Ghostbusters 2 coming out of the ground, breaking up the pavement. That's pretty good. But yeah, this is a really good model. I really like it. You know, nice little um, traffic lights there in a, a bin in the street. So really good. I'll turn it around this side. You've got the fire escape. Really nice, and um, the back, that's the back. Not much there on the back, but overall, really nice model. Really, really nice. Right, let's get this open and take a look inside. Um, unclip this top fire escape, and the roof should easily come off. I'll, I'll take this figure off, just so she doesn't fall and we lose her. But yep, that's come off pretty easily. Open it up. And that's pretty spectacular. There's um, some scenes in here. There's a uh, Lewis getting, you know, experimented on by Egon. Um, there's a scene from Ghostbusters 2 here, the uh, pink slime, which is added to the toaster, so that should be bouncing about, coming alive. I really like the the detail of things in here. They've got the arcade machine at the back. It's a Ghostbusters one in this. But that's pretty nice. Um, I think this fridge opens. Yep, there's a, a pizza in the fridge. <laughs> so, oops, I'm destroying it. But yeah, really, really nice. The details of the model are really great. I love this um, pull table. It's just brilliant. And you've got two pull kills there. You've actually got a little map which shows you where the the HQ is in New York. That's, that's awesome. I really like that. Ray's um, having fun in the bedroom there. Um, yeah, really, really brilliant. This is the, I believe that's the taxi driver ghost. Um, the, the figures, the minifigures look really brilliant. Um, that's the containment room. It's a shame you don't get a Walter Peck minifigure because that's where he should be, switching it off. Because, you know, Dickless there doesn't listen. So, yeah, it's a shame you, there's no Walter Peck minifigure. But, oh well, the minifigures that you do get are pretty... Good. Um, that's Winston in behind, I think, Peter Venkmar's desk. But they've got little magazines on the floor, little newspapers. Really, really nice, though. I really like this. The detail is fantastic. You've, you've even got in the kitchen little um, cereal boxes and pizza boxes, I believe, and cups. Yes, it's um, really, really good. Right, I will um, take this wall off now and show you this side. You, you unclip this fireman's pearl and then take the top half off. Hopefully it won't fall apart on me. But um, uh, Yeah, so the detail here is pretty good as well. really love the detail. The, you've got the, um, the bathroom, the toilet, which is all slimed. Really needs a cleaner in this um, HQ. But, you know, they can't afford it. They can't afford one, you know, they've got money problems even though they can afford an arcade machine and a pool table. But, you know, we'll let that slide. But yeah, this is the dark room and um, 
they've got the bad guy from Ghostbusters two. Uh, Vigo, I think he's called. I think did he have a longer name or is it just Vigo? I'm not sure, but we'll just call him Vigo. I think it was just Vigo. But yeah, the the detail of a dark room with the magnifying glass and the little and all thing to to develop the photos is really really good. So yeah, really really love this. Um, and then through this door would be obviously you've got the fire extinguisher, and then they'd jump onto the fire pole so yeah really really love this um i'll put this back on and then i will send someone down the pole so we will use ray because he's easiest to get and just set it going yeah hook the minifigure that's this way around yeah hook the minifigure in like this all right it's a little bit fiddly There we go. So starting from the top and then woo. And as you can see, he's got a, a lovely smile on his face because he's enjoying himself going down this fireman's pole. He could do it all day, could Ray. <laughs> so yeah, that's really good. Another great feature of this um, Firehouse HQ. I will show you now the Ecto-1, which can fit into this firehouse. The Ecto-1 doesn't come with a set, that's sold separately, but it does fit in the firehouse, which is um, a really good feature. So I will show you it fitting in the firehouse now. So the door's just pushing, and then you can reverse the Ecto-1 into the firehouse. But the, the only problem is, the only slight disappointment is, it doesn't fully go in. So to fully get the Ecto-1 in, you have to take Janine out completely. So we'll put her over here, and then the XO one backs in, and then the doors do shut if you want, or you can keep them open. But yeah, that that is a slight disappointment. The fact that you have to put, you have to take Janine out fully, her desk and everything, to get the XO one fully in. If you if you're not bothered by it fully in, then obviously you can have it hanging out of the street and keep Janine in the. Um, the HQ like that. You can back it up as far as there, but there's a little bit of the front hanging out into the street, but if that's not much of a concern, then fair enough. But yeah, slight, slight disappointment, but you can live with it, it's okay. On this side, just at the bottom, if you can, if you can just see, you've got three lockers. You've got, um, you've got Venkman's, Peter Venkman's, Ray Stance and Egon Spengler's. Um, and inside the lockers, you've got spare proton packs, and I think there's, I think there's a proton pack in each one. So that's that's pretty cool. I really like that. That's that's a good feature. Um, I'm not sure if uh, Winston Zedmar got a locker in Ghostbusters too, but he didn't have one in Ghostbusters one, so they haven't given him one in this, but. I'd have thought by Ghostbusters 2 we'd have had one. <laughs> but can this get in properly? There we go. But yeah, they're, they're the um, lockers. So that's a nice feature. And I like the doors. The doors open fully. Oh, there's a little door for the people just to walk out of. That's a nice feature as well. So yeah, really, really nice HQ. Before we move on to the minifigures, I just want to talk about all the spare pieces. And you get quite a lot. Um... There's a spare dart, spare spanners, spare pieces for the proton pack, spare flames, um, quite a lot to be fair. Right, so let's take a closer look at the minifigures. Um, you get 12 with the set. You get the um, the librarian who's in the New York Public Library at the start. You get the uh, taxi driver. You get Dana or Dana. You get Lewis, you get Janine. You get a fog Ghostbusters, you get a pink ghost, a blue ghost, and Slimer. So we'll start with the Librarian Ghost, and this is this is quite a nice figure. You know, the each, each figure has a different, either a different head or an alternate face. Um, 
I'm not sure what she doesn't. No, she doesn't go in that. But the, the the detail at the bottom is really nice for the uh, librarian. That's a really nice figure. That. But yeah, she's got an alternate head as well. But I'll show you those later. The only one that doesn't is the um, the taxi driver. But the detail on him is really nice. He's got a really nice face. I really like his flat cap. That's pretty nice. <laughs> um, yeah, the the detail on the coat, really, really nice. That's a really good figure. Um, Dana, this is um, when she's uh, under the, the spell of Zool. Um, and she's got an alternate face as well. But I, what I like about these is that the air covers up the alternate face. So when you just want to change the scene, you just turn the head round and switch the air about. So that's pretty good. Um, I'll just take her off and give you a closer look of uh, the detail on her, her dress. Really nice minifigure. We'll move on to Lewis now. And this is when he's in the... Um, Ghostbusters HQ and Egon's experimenting on him. This is the uh, brain scanning thing that he has on his head. I'm not quite sure what it's called, but I like the details of the face because he's got the strapping. He's got the strapping on his face there. Nice helmet strap. Um, looking quite unkempt. His uh, shirt's all undone and he's all stained, so really like the details on the shirt there. That's really good. He's got an alternate head. He's not got um he's not got another printed face on the back. He's got a, an head to take off, but I'll show you that soon. So yeah, another really nice minifigure there. And here's Janine now. Um That's really nice. Really like the uh the check pattern on her top. Yeah. Really nice. Um, move on to the Ghostbusters now, and this is a Winston. And each Ghostbuster comes with an accessory. The each Ghostbuster comes with a a proton pack. So we'll just attach this proton pack to uh, show you. I think that's how it goes on. Just turn this round here. So that's the uh, that's Winston with the proton pack on. Like I said, each one comes with one of those and an accessory. I think Winston and Peter come with the traps. Um, but yeah, I really like the uh, the details of the suits. They've each got their name tags on the suit. W Z for Winston Zedmar. So really like the uh, the details of the air as well. You can get that in. That's that looks really nice. So I'll just take this uh, proton pack off now and put him back on the stand. Move on to Ray now. Um, I think he came with a radio, but like like Winston, the detail on it is is really good. I really like the air on Ray. Really nice detail. And he's got the his name tag, RS, for Ray Stance. So, yep. Yeah. I'll show you the back. So that's where you put the um, the proton packs. But really nice. Really good detail on these minifigures, I must admit. Um, Winston, uh, what's it? Peter Venkman now. And um, he's just been slimed by Slimer. So that's really nice. I really like the, uh, the expression on his face. That's pretty funny. Uh... But yeah, the, the the detail on all the air is really brilliant. I really like the detailing. Um, same again, PV, Peter Venkman, name tag. It's just these covered in uh, green slime. So I really, this is. I think this is my favourite figure out of the four Ghostbusters. And it's just funny, I, the expression on his face and all the um, the green slime. It's just, it makes me chuckle. I don't know why, it just, it just does. Um, move on to Egon. I really like his, his like his. Uh, I've always liked his hair, even in the film and in the cartoon. Even though in the cartoon he had blonde hair, but 
Yeah, it's like this this quiff. Really like it, and he's got the um, the peaky reader. Um, e S for Egon Spengler on his name tag, but yeah, the um, the Ghostbusters, the they they are really 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 nice minifigures. Um, you got Slimer here in the middle. He's got a big sausage in his hand, <laughs> um, a big hot dog sausage. Because if you can remember in the film, he. I think he bursts out of the hot dog stand when a guy's getting a hot dog, so that's where that's from. That's nice detailing on his uh, mouth there with a the, with the big tongue sticking out. And then you've got these um, these two coloured ghosts. I'm not sure if these were actually in the film, but these do light up. So if I just plug them into this... And then... Hopefully, there we go, it's, that one's lit up. And I'll do it with the other one too. I'll just plug this pink one in as well. And hopefully they should both light up. There we go, yeah. These both light up. So in the, when it's in the dark, these look really good. Obviously it's light now, so you can't really get the effect. But yeah, they light up, so that, they're nice figures. I'll just take these out now and then put them back on the stand. Right, so these are all the minifigures alternate faces and pretty much they all look scared. Um, I'm not sure what... Ray, Ray looks like he's in shock, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, they all look scared. Um, Dana looks pretty scary. She's in full-on possession mode there. Um, I really like the detail on uh, Lewis's hair. I think his hair... is. It, it's fantastic. Um, I'll just get you a closer look. Um, yeah, really like the detail on his area. Really good. I really like the alternate faces. He's got different air to put on the um, librarian. Like I said before, the only one that doesn't have an alternate face is the taxi driver. Um, but yeah, um, the Peter Venkman one, he's got an unslimed face there. And it looks like the only one what isn't scared. Um yeah, really like him. Really good. I really like the fact that you've got alternate faces and alternate hair and everything. So, yeah. Right, so my final thoughts on this um, Ghostbusters Firehouse HQ model. Um, I think it's fantastic. Uh, really great detail in everything. Uh, the inside is fantastic. I, I just love the different rooms that you can put the Ghostbusters in. Uh the, my only slight disappointment is the fact that the Ecto-1 doesn't fully go in, but you may not have the Ecto-1 anyway, so it's no big deal. If you do have it sticking out, it's it still looks okay. It's it's pretty fine, so that's my only disappointment with the model. But apart from that, really great build. Really like it. Um, the minifigures are fantastic. I love the fact that you get alternate heads, alternate faces. Um, so, so, you know, the react out different scenes and everything so that's really good so all in all if you're a if i would imagine if you're a ghostbusters fan anyway you'll you will probably more than likely buy this but if you're not a ghostbusters fan it is still a great build to get it's a lot of fun well thanks for watching guys i've been heroic dale the guest reviewer for this video check out my channel link in the description and we'll see you guys on the next mars model moment good day and remember Stay heroic. This should just come off. There we go. Um, oops. Like I said before, the deep. Oh.